Now, your storm station forecast with meteorologist Marissa Nuso. A flood watch issued just after 6 o'clock this morning for all of these highlighted parishes and counties, including East Baton Rouge Parish. Now, the main reason for this is because we have seen so much rain so far this week, and any additional heavy downpours could definitely cause some problems. No surprises here. We've been dealing with this all week long, so just make sure you're ready to get a flood warning in case you need one. Outside, we're seeing some low level cloud cover. I I don't see any major issues with visibility, maybe some patchy fog, but that's not a major issue. Already seeing a little bit of sunshine out there. Temperatures at 77, so super muggy already. My forecasters, I've got two. I think this is a really a fun combo, maybe like a super hero duo, Kitty Man and Cosmo, really cute kitties here. Lots of yellow paws from these two. There is now a flood watch out for a couple of parishes and more rain is on the way, so make sure you're paying close attention if you do have outdoor plans through the day today. Thanks to Kitty Man and Cosmo for helping me out. Here's where the rain is already setting up, and we can kind of see this line. If you draw the line between about New Roads and Gonzales, this will be moving up into our northeast corner into all of those highlighted parishes and counties with the flood watch. So if you are up there, expect to see a downpour this morning. A downpour will be possible at pretty much any point today. If you have thick cloud cover, you might get uh, might be able to skip over the afternoon showers, but I would keep a close eye on it either way. For the weekend, Saturday, most of that shower activity will come in the afternoon, but only 60% coverage, so a lot of folks will actually get skipped over. Sunday will trend much drier than Saturday with just a few showers in the afternoon. So if you need one of these days to be drier than the other, go ahead, pick Sunday. And the morning hours for both of these days should be largely dry. If you need to get outside, maybe mow the lawn after all the rain this week. There's a look at the rest of your seven-day. We'll get another look at your live radar coming up in 10.